Ford decided to create an actual very gay Raptor and debuted it as part of the Cologne Pride event last weekend. Ford of Germany has a very long history of supporting the LGBTQ community. However, the very gay Ford Ranger Raptor, as it's officially known, it's not for sale. I know a lot of people who'd like to buy it though. This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Rocket Mortgage is apparently providing tampons in their men's bathrooms to promote menstrual equity. <laughs> That's news. Do you know how many gay couples in America adopt babies every year? Here's the one thing all of them have in common. They're not doing it because one of the men has barren ovaries. They're doing it because the men don't have a uterus. We know that. So when I read this, saw this, I was shocked that Rocket Mortgage is a company that's putting tampons in a man's bathroom, which would make me very uncomfortable. It's all a front end shakedown now. They're, they're all taking this position because they know it's coming if they don't just appease it now. Have you seen Target lately? We've got swimsuits with tuck friendly construction so chicks with dinglings can tuck it in it's the whole sexuality on display for me like why why and why do you need to put it on children i am ruby and i am here to talk to you about the ruby shaping bikini bottoms my dad and i designed it to help trans girls and non-binary kids like me feel comfortable swimming and doing other activities that they love i am holding in my hand a size 10 in the inside, there are two layers of mesh that keep everything in place. No need for tucking or large padding in the front. I love wearing it to the beach or pool and often wear it under my leggings. And here we have another one. Kohl's has now made a baby onesie that is promoting transgender ideology to kids as young as three months old with this baby's onesie and matching rainbow tights. And here's the thing. This entire pride collection, the boycotting target has never had anything to do with the LGBTQ in general. It has never had to do with gay people. It has never had to do with pride month. It is the fact that it is being shoved in Americans faces. It has to do with the fact that it's targeting children. It has always been about targeting children. Why do babies need a onesie, a baby onesie with a pride flag on it? This right here. These are baby clothes. They say that grooming isn't happening, then why are there pride baby onesie? They don't. It is blatant virtue signaling, and it is not okay what our universe is doing to signal to children in the transgender movement. It is disgusting. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. This family has two mommies. They love each other so proudly, and they all go marching in the big parade. Let me see you all be proud. Yeah. Singing out loud. Let me see you all be proud. Come on. Dancing it out. Let me see you all be proud. June is Pride Month and cities across the country are celebrating. Chicago's finest getting in on the spirit in a colorful way. They give the patrol car a complete makeover with a rainbow wrap for this weekend's Pride Parade. The department saying, quote, the Chicago Police Department is a dynamic reflection of the residents we protect and serve, including LGBTQ communities throughout Chicago.